Hi guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. Happy holidays everyone. We're counting down the 12 days of Boamus and I'm showing you 12 of my favorite localities of Boa that I'm fortunate to be working with over the 12 days of Boamus. And today brings us to day nine and day nine's pick is an animal that truly illustrates how great locality boas are. These are just the coolest animal uh, for a number of different reasons. This is the Paraguana Peninsula boa from Venezuela, also known as the Pe Paraguanera boa. And these animals come to us from a small peninsula in northwestern Venezuela. And what's uh, uh, interesting about the Paraguana, Paraguana Peninsula is that it's this round peninsula that has this like really narrow isthmus which connects it to the mainland of Venezuela. So the main part of the peninsula is almost like an island and so there's this geographic separation of the boas. The boas from this part of Venezuela are completely different from the true red tail boas found in southern Venezuela and they illustrate a lot of the characteristics of both Boa Imperator to the uh, north, as well as Boa Constrictor Constrictor to the southeast. They're kind of, you can think of them as a almost like a transitional form, which is, you know, part of the reason they're so cool. And so this is a pretty much a dwarf type of boa. This male is about six and a half years old, bred by Chris Wolf back in 2015. And uh, I really love this guy. Um, he actually belonged to a good friend of mine for the first couple of years. And every time I'd uh, look at his uh, locality collection, this guy always really stood out. And uh, unfortunately, my buddy had to get out of Boas a few years ago, but I was lucky to acquire this uh, Paraguanera Peninsula Boa. And so unfortunately, this guy's in shed right now. So his colors are nowhere near as rich as they normally are. It always seems like whenever I try to shoot a video, there's at least one boa that's gonna be in shed that I wanna use. Um, but they have a pattern that's almost similar to like a, a, what you would expect from uh, you know a, a hybrid of a boa imperator and a true red tail. They have this really cool uh, intricate pattern, really rich colors with a high contrast, and then this nice reddish tail. His tail looks a lot darker right now uh, than what you know it's gonna look after he sheds. And so there are dwarf type of boa. This guy is pretty much full size. He's about four feet long and my other animals are about the same size. Personality wise, they're fairly docile. You know, they don't bite or hiss or anything like that. They are a little bit more squeezy than a lot of boas, you know, which I think is due to the uh, true red tail influence. You can see how tightly he's holding on, but they just need to feel secure and, you know, hold on pretty tightly to a hand or whatever, you know, they're gripped to. They have kind of a cool head, you know, the shape of the head looks more like a, what you would expect from a boa imperator, the short kind of stumpy wide head. But they have, a, you know, markings and contrast in the body shape of a true red tail boa. And if you look at a map of South America where these guys are from, um, the Paraguana Peninsula is kind of midway between the Boa Constrictor Constrictor territory in northern South America and the Boa Imperator territory in you know northwestern South America, Colombia, and you know Central America. So it's not surprising. And I just think this uh, is the great thing about keeping boas is we get these lessons in evolution, looking at the relationships between the different forms of boas. And of course, it's not always as easy as just defining them as boa imperator or boa constrictor. And this Paraguana Peninsula boa really illustrates that. Another really cool thing about the Paraguana Peninsula boa is the availability of a naturally occurring variant or morph. And that is the anerythristic Paraguana Peninsula boa like this one. And these animals are lacking the red and yellow pigments. So they have this beautiful silvery gray coloration. And I found in general, my the anerythristic Paraguana boas tend to retain the beautiful silvery coloration better than most common boas I've seen that are anerythristic, which often will t tend to kind of become this dull brownish color. Um, this is actually my female. My male Anubis is actually the official mascot of this channel and I've taken him out quite a bit. So I thought I'd grab the female for this video. My male Anubis is probably one of my top five boas. I just love that guy. This female, maybe she's not quite as nice, but still a beautiful animal. They just have this beautiful silvery markings and they almost remind me of the coloration of the uh, 
the silver uh, Bengal tigers or the, the those white tigers which are really anorthritic just beautiful uh, uh, grayish coloration. In fact, some of them almost look like a black and white picture. You can see how she's holding on pretty tightly. You know, as I mentioned, these are kind of one of the more squeezy boas. So I got this female actually from the same buddy that I got the male I showed you. And he had these nice four uh, uh, Paraguana Peninsula boas. And unfortunately, he had to get out of boas. Uh, but I was really happy to acquire these Four animals. This is a 2016 born female that was bred by Vin Russo. Um, they're one of the harder boas to find. I mean Vin is one of the main breeders and I know he had them available this year and I know some of the viewers of this channel got them so you know congratulations you picked a great boa to work with. I hope to have some in 2022. We'll just have to see what happens. Um, don't want to get my hopes up too much but you know with any luck we'll have some in the summer. But these are just a great locality boa that really illustrates why locality boa uh, collecting is such a great hobby to be in. The uh, Paraguana Peninsula or Paraguanera boa from northwestern Venezuela. So I hope you enjoyed the look at the Paraguana Peninsula boa. As always, shoot me any questions you may have. Thanks for watching and happy boa mass.